everyone in been, been admitted yet? There we go. Right. Good evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, my name is Moira Marder. Um, I'm the very proud CEO of the Ted Rag Trust. Um, and as I say, thank you so much for joining us. Um, what we're going to do is if after our very short presentation, um, you've got any questions, could you put them in the chat for us? Because it's going to be quite hard um, to unmute the mic. So any questions, we'd be really happy to answer anything. Um, and just do that as, as we're going. So um, we do hope um, that your first few weeks have been really enjoyable. I'm sure you've been all working really hard and I know it's been incredibly busy, but hopefully uh, very rewarding. Um, and I think tonight for us, it's really important that you get to know um, us as a trust. Um, we're so proud of it. Um, and I think our session here is about giving you a, a bit of clarity around our vision for the trust, but who we are, and what we are about as sort of an educator, but also as an employer. Um, if you, if we could just look at the next slide, um, please. Um, you can see here a bit of a, a sort of a summary, really, of, of our vision uh, for the trust. And, and some of the words that I always like to pull out of, of this slide are those words of ambition, uh, inclusive, optimism and compassion. I think those, those words really um, highlight and sort of symbolise what our trust is all about. Um, we are so uh, delighted um, to be named after the late, great Ted Ragg, um, who was, uh, you know, a, gr a great sort of servant to, to the educational profession, but particularly to Exeter. And he really believed passionately sort of local schools working together to be the best they can be. And that real sort of focus on, on social mobility. Um, and so one of the things we've worked really hard on over the last sort of 10 years since we, we set up the trust was to develop a really rich and diverse school community across um, Crediton, Exeter and Plymouth, with very like minded schools. Um, and we genuinely want to support um, and challenge each other to be the best that we can be and develop, deliver that ambitious education. Um, so our pupils can can become those compassionate and courageous citizens you can see um, in our vision there. And it's really important that we make no excuses. Background doesn't matter. Um, you know, and, and we just we have got such high expectations uh, for all our, our, our pupils in and our communities. Um, so our trust is, you know, is, is quite large. Um, we, we've got a, a, another school that's due to join us in January, Lipson um, Community um, College in um, Plymouth. And, and when they join us, we around 10,000 pupils. We'll have 13 schools and around 1,500 employees. And you know, so, so we, are, we, are, we are a big trust, but for us, it's never been about the size. It's about getting the right schools to join the trust. Um, and I don't think a school should ever join a multi-academy trust unless we're really clear about how we can improve education um, for those young people in that school. Um, so for us, it's always about the right schools joining. It's not about the size. Um, and that is so important. And what you're gonna hopefully find out tonight is you know some of the some of the benefits from from working with us in our trust you know it's so brilliant now we're of the size where we have got some really well established subject communities there's some exciting leadership development that we do across the trust at all levels um the financial leverage that we have um you know and, and i think all of those things um now um, sh are so, such benefit to people joining our trust um well as, as employees um, and much more than if you were joining a standalone school. So I am going to hand over to Siobhan, who's going to tell you a little bit more about our trust. Oh, and sorry, before I, I've got my other slide there. I'm really, I'm not very, I always forget slides. And but in terms of size, you can see um, the the schools there that that have joined us and and the journey that we've been on. So a real mix map between primary and secondary. Really proud of it. Um, and that slide there gives you just an, a good, gives you an oversight. But Siobhan's now going to give you a bit more detail about our TADRAG offer and what we are doing. So thank you very much. 
Hello everybody, so my name is Siobhan Meredith and I am the Director of Primary in all three for the Trust, but I'm also the Head Teacher of Marine Academy Primary, which is in Plymouth. So on the screen now you'll see our TEDRAG offer and this was developed over the last year um, following on from the vision that Moira has already shared with you. And the six sort of sections of the wheel will really, they explain kind of as subtitles really how we will achieve that vision. So you'll see the breakdown there and the three um, key parts of our vision in terms of ambitious trust schools, strength and communities and excellent education. And the main thing about the TED RAG offer is that's something consistent that we can do and we can work together as the 12, soon to be 13 schools across the trust. And really for us, that's because we believe we're better and stronger together. Um, so each school can still be individual and we'll each have their own kind of areas that make them just simply wonderful but for us working together is where we can do the best we can do for all of our children um, and then also on the screen you'll see it says relentlessly positive collaboration and that's just because we really believe in working together and, and collaborating and just doing our absolutely utmost for all of our learners across the trust and I will pass you on to Tim. Thank you very much, Siobhan. Uh, my name is Tim Rutherford. I'm Deputy CEO. Uh, we're really lucky to be part of this fantastic trust. I was previously a uh, head teacher at St James School and more recently at West Tech School. Uh, I'm just going to talk a few about a few of the areas that Siobhan's identified and a few of the things we're working on uh, as, as a trust this year. Um, and they come under six areas, uh, really developing networks in all, all different facets of school life, uh, attendance officers, you know, individual subject areas, we really want to develop vibrant trust networks, complement what we're doing so we can really share the best practice. The work that has already gone on inclusion, setting up things like the bridge in Exeter and, and some of the inclusion hubs in Plymouth, we really want to further offering primary schools uh, and, and, and find innovative ways that we can really make sure that all children in our communities get a really great deal. The social justice work, and we, we uh, be, um, work in, and one of our trustees is Professor uh, Lee Elliott Major. It, Social justice is at the heart of what we're doing, really making sure that our dear disadvantaged students and our SEND students are getting a great deal. It's something I know we're all working together on uh, and dear disadvantaged students leads have been doing, I think, our meeting tomorrow as a network. The curriculum, uh, the making sure the curriculums are excellent is something that we're all working on. And that's where we really think it can benefit workload, but also pivot and change the way that the classroom staff uh, get to focus on making sure rather than uh, the, the content they're covering, actually the children they're doing to deliver that content so they can get more more time to really support those uh, individual children. And it really is, you know, making sure the classroom is excellent and really reinvigorated post-COVID. I've already seen in the, in the last 10 days, uh, including some of your classrooms, really great things happening and making sure that things like coaching are available not only for every classroom member of staff, but also um, uh, kind of uh, other members of staff going forward as well. And finally, something we know we've got to get better at, and I hope you've had a chance to see uh, Moira's videos and, and some of the, the other communication, and I know Becky and Charlotte will talk about it in a minute, but we really want to get better at communicating, not only communicating and celebrating and appreciating fantastic work across our schools, but also making sure that day-to-day -day things like emails, meetings, calendar uh, arrangements are uh, the very, very best uh, that we can uh, we can achieve so that our kids get the very best deal. And all through that, the one thing about Ted Rag Trust Schools is all about relentlessly positive collaboration. As Siobhan said, we all believe that we can we can serve our children, our individual, unique and special schools more effectively uh, when working together. Um, so I'm going to hand over now to Charlotte. Thanks, Tim. So hi, everyone. I'm Charlotte Davis and I'm the Trust's Director of Business and Operations. And within the trust, we have a core team that helps provide a range of professional business and operations services, which works with and alongside the staff in the schools you know, to help ensure that within the schools, we can deliver the excellent education that, yeah, that we're aiming for. And, and on this slide, you can see with the schools at the centre, some of the key areas of support that we provide across the trust. So we've got HR is obviously a key central function and finance, IT, estates, marketing. 
So working like this with a core team operating across the trust means that we can operate really efficiently and also access the added value, expertise and benefits that would be potentially quite difficult to achieve yet within just an individual school setting. So this gives us a really strong network of shared resources. And yeah, and as Moira said earlier, this has been really helpful through yeah, the recent kind of COVID pandemic and lockdown periods and meant that we're able to work really effectively together as a group of schools with our risk assessments, communicating around our approach and testing and um, report remote learning, etc. And these business networks supplement the, the subject and curriculum communities that are in place as well. So overall, it makes the trust a really supportive and collaborative place to work so that we can provide the specialist support where needed. And for all of you in your new roles, yeah, a good opportunity to be part of a, a much wider network outside of the, the school where you're based. So I'm going to hand over to Becky now, our head of HR, who can tell you a bit more. Hello, I'm Becky Hargreaves and I am the Head of HR for the Trust. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce you to our Staff Hub. This is an intranet site where we aim to bring staff from across all of our schools together in a collaborative online community. Um, so here you'll find the most up-to-date information on a diverse range of topics from staff news to training material, company policies and well-being. The Staff Hub is regularly updated and reflects the latest and most important information for you. If you're based in one of our schools that's on a trust network, the Staff Hub should be your landing page when you open up your internet browser. However, you can access the Staff Hub from anywhere by using the link that's on here, and that will be sent round to you. Um, if you're logging in from one of our trust schools, uh, you can log in um, with your normal um, username, so first name and surname, and then your password, which you use to log on to your device, and it should take you straight into the Staff Hub area. However, if you're coming from an external or a non-networked school, you can use the username Staff Hub and then the password is Visitor123 with a capital B. So alongside our HR policies, um, which are there, our people network, um, sorry, our people directory provides you with information about our key contacts across the trust and it helps to signpost you to the right areas. The IT support section provides a link to our knowledge base, um, our IT knowledge base, um, which will support you to self-help on a number of common IT matters. However, if the answer is not there, you can email the IT help desk, you will respond. Our payroll section provides the link to your employee self-service account, which um, enables you to log on online to see your pay slip, P40, uh, P60s um, and any other relevant information um, for payroll. And also um, it, the payroll section provides information about our pension schemes as well. Our managers area provides guidance and support for managers um, in terms of uh, toolkits and guidance. And our trust meeting calendar provides information on key dates across the trust. Um, there's also an area for handbooks and provides a link to online versions for the trust offer, our leadership handbook and our school improvement handbook. As a member of our trust, you'll also have access to a number of staff benefits. This includes generous time off for, uh, for training and development where it's linked to your role. Our family friendly leave um, and compassionate leave arrangements are provided within our leave policy. Our teachers already participate in individual coaching programmes, which we hope to expand to other members of our um, staff and our community. We um, seek to utilise our apprenticeship levy to support our staff development, and that's just not for new employees. Um, we have leadership and management training for both teaching and non-teaching professionals. And as, as discussed earlier, the trust professional networks as well. So we have links with curriculum and other professional areas, including data, HR, marketing, health and safety, estates. We also give dedicated time to support our professional, uh, professional support networks. Um, you have a range of school improvement resources as well that you can have access to. We have a cycle to work scheme with opportunities for loans up to £2,000 and hopefully that would enable people to get a really good bicycle or um, electrical bike um, to support them on their travel to work and to support wellbeing. Uh, we encourage participation in the whole trust staff, staff survey as well and this is a really important move for us in, um, in order to make sure that we hear our staff voice. Although we hope and reckon um, that your experience at work and in your personal life is positive, 
we recognise that there are times where you or your family members may need some additional support. And alongside a number of external support mechanisms, which are signposted on our wellbeing area of our um, staff hub, we also offer an employee's assistance programme. This is a confidential employee benefit designed to help you deal with um, personal and professional problems that could be affecting your home life or your work life, your health or general wellbeing or that of one of your family members. Our EAP service provides a complete support network that offers an expert advice, compassionate guidance on a 24-7 helpline covering a range of issues. And we strongly believe that providing that EAP service not only offers a reactive support when someone needs it, but also proactive and preventative support to deliver the be possible best outcomes for you as an employee of our, so, um, our trust. So I'll hand you back to Moira now so she can round up and uh, see if we can answer any questions. Thank you, Becky. Um, thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, just a reminder, we ha it, it has been recorded, so I know a few people have joined us late, so you, you should be able to hear um, the presentation um, when Emma sends it back around. Um, but I do believe you've, you've joined us at a really exciting time. Um, the last year and a bit has been hugely challenging, I think, for everybody in the sector and society in general around COVID. But I really feel that, that, you know, the positive as it's brought us together, it's made us closer as a group of schools and as a community. Um, and I've never seen so much compassion, so much strength and so much care for our communities. I've always said that, you know, it's just brilliant to see the community leadership within our schools during during COVID. And, and it's made me, to, you know, I've always believed in the trust and the way the trust works. It, you know, I think it's the right thing to do, you know, across the profession. But it makes me realise that we are better together as a group of schools than apart. Um, and we see the next few years as a really exciting time to be joining us, particularly um, because I th we are really outward facing trust. We've got some really great links with some other mats and other other educationalists across the country and internationally. And we really want to immerse ourselves in that innovative practice to make our schools the best they can be. And as Tim said earlier, to build back better and stronger as a result of what's happened in the last two years. We know our children, you know, you know, are going to need support. And but we're we we are excited and we know we can deliver that support for them. So I, I think this is a great time to be joining education. I think there's a time when you can start the work that you're doing now in the classroom or support workers working for the trust will have a really powerful and long term impact on our young people. And we're just so delighted that you, you've chosen to join us. And hopefully tonight she's given you a bit of a flavour of the trust and some of the some of the benefits um, and the practical benefits of, of joining us too. Um, so we will hang around a bit at the end. Um, you know, if, and if you would like to use the chat so to ask us any questions, um, and hopefully you've seen us. And you, you know, if you need to ask us anything specifically, you can always contact us. But thank you very much for joining us after what I'm sure has been a really really busy day. Thank you very much.